two hours later. Ottoman Empire reigning here for occupying the land of Israel when we say Ottoman Empire basically these are Turkish all right from Antalya so they closed this gate and uh, we know that the uh, Turkish are Muslims and their uh, main religion is Islam and they are the ones who closed this gate why what's the reason why they closed this gate because the Jews believe that this gate will become the entry gate of yeah. their coming Messiah. So, the reason why they close it is the sense that they could prevent the entrance of the Messiah of the Jews. So that's the that's the main thing why they close this gate. Now a lot of Muslims deny the idea, but it was in the history. It was also in the Wikipedia. It was also in the Google. <laughs> you can find that reason. Uh, for closing this gate now the other thing not only they close the gate they made also this area as a cemetery because for the jews it is not allowed for them to touch the bodies of the dead person even to be in this uh, grave that is not a, a jewish grave so yeah it's some kind of desecrating this place so when you desecrate the place or you made it unholy, so the Jews doesn't want to enter the place because it will make them also dirty or unholy. So that's the idea. But uh, interestingly, uh, the Jews miss the coming of the Messiah. The Muslims also miss the Messiah of the Christians and the Messiah of all people actually in the, in, in the whole world. Why? Because more than 2,000 years ago from Bethany at the back of this mountain, the Lord Jesus Christ on that Palm Sunday moment, okay? So they, he, he marched together with disciples coming up here in the Mount of Olives, okay? That's why you can see that dome, the white dome with a, uh, with a gray color on the top. That is a uh, Galicanto where the Lord Jesus Christ stopped for a while and overlooking this uh, old city of Jerusalem, he cried because he saw, he saw already the coming future destruction of Jerusalem. And that happened at AD 70 when the Romans totally ransacked or destroyed the city of Jerusalem, burning also the temple in that day. And then from there, after the Lord cried, over the future of Jerusalem uh, he, he continued walking and there in in the valley below below us that is known as the the valley of uh, Kidron or Kidron Valley also this is called as the valley of Jehoshaphat so the people who follow the Lord Jesus Christ they put down their garments the clothes there and also the leaves of the palm and they are shouting, Hosanna, Hosanna, blessed this king who comes in the name of the Lord Jesus, in the name of the Lord. So then the Lord Jesus Christ continued to enter the temple through this gate. So the entrance of the Lord Jesus Christ in this gate is already a fulfillment of the prophecy that the Messiah will come and he will enter the different gate. That happened already. So meaning the Jews miss the Messiah. 
And we know that until today, they still rejecting the Lord Jesus Christ as the Messiah. But thanks God, we already have the Jews for Jesus. We already, we already have uh, um, some uh, Christian uh, Jews in the name of Israel. So as the Lord Jesus Christ entered this gate, what he saw in the vicinity of the temple, the, the merchants, the businessmen, it became a marketplace. Kaya itinapon ng Panginoon sa Bisto yung mga tables nila, yung mga pangindang na doon. At ang sabi ng Panginoon sa Bisto, My house or the house of my father is a house of prayer. But we need it. And then, oh, please. Ginawa nyo itong, yung death ay bilang kuwan, di ba? Okay? Kulungan. Yun. Kulungan. Ang mga magdala. So, nandiyan na sila. So, nag-desecrate na talaga yung so that's the story of this golden gate but the bible has a prophecy that christ the messiah will come again on his second coming he will arrive in mount of olives where he ascended more than two thousand years ago and from there he will enter again the old city jerusalem and he will enter on the same gate so i don't know what will gonna happen on that day but maybe christ will open Gate. We don't know how, but he will enter on the same gate, this one, on his second coming. So that's the story of this gate. Alright, so thank you so much. So have a picture, and then we will continue our journey to the city of David. So that's all, my brother. Okay? Ayan, napakaganda lugar dito sa Jerusalem. Ayan, no, tingnan nyo kung ayan nyo napakasimple lang ng libingan nila. Ganyan lang. Tsaka yung ano dito, mga namamatay pag inililibing, hindi na sila nagkakabao. Parang nakabalot lang siya sa puting tela. Ganun lang sila kasimple. Parang hindi sila, hindi importante sa kanila yung kabaon. Ayan, ang tinaw, napakasimple ng libingan nila. Six and a half hours later. Ayan, mga kapapa. Nakapuntahan na naman natin ang ano, Golden Gate. So, abangan ninyo yung aking upload. And kung kayo ay bago sa aking YouTube channel, please subscribe, like, and share. 
please watch din po salamat po mga kapapa see you so, my next vlog so yun yung katapusan ng aking pag vlog okay bye